Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Today, we have spoilers. That's right, for those of us who were unlucky and didn't get the Marvel cards, and for those who did or have them in the mail, the bonus cards are starting to show up on the internet, and I gotta admit, they're really cool. Damn it. So before we get started, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below, feed the algorithm, keeps us sponsor free, and there's links in the description where you can buy cars to support the channel, giveaways going on as we speak, make sure you stay tuned for that. There's daily entries in there now to give you more chances to win, so hey, now's a good time to win some cards, right? So with all that said and done, let's take a look at the new Marvel Cinematic World coming to Magic with bonus cards from Secret Lair. So, start off with our first bonus card that's in there. That's right, it's Unnatural Groot. I mean, Unnatural Growth. Um, <laughs> four green and one enchantment, beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature. Uh, pretty funny card, don't see a whole lot of play, but this is even funnier, is as we have Groot here, uh, with a shrub on his head and claws like Wolverine. This is fantastic. Um, whoever came up with this idea is just awesome. That's supposed to be me, bub. Logan, Wolverine. So, this is a great card. Um, might not see a whole lot of play, but the art is just hilarious. And apparently, this is going to be all the bonus cards. We're going to get a little rootage, if you will. Um, as they keep going for the cool and cute factor to try to probably replicate the whole, uh, you know, Grogu thing um, that uh, apparently nobody can seem to master because, I mean, people just like some things and if you just keep throwing stuff at the wall, probably not going to stick all the time. And the things that do stick, if you keep throwing stuff at the wall that's the same thing, it's probably going to slide off. So, whatever. But So this is the first one of five bonus cards. That's right. So there might be a different bonus. There, either there's a five different bonus cards you can get or a different bonus card for every set that you buy. Don't know which. Uh, so if you do, put it down in the comment section. So next we have this bonus card, Nature's Lore. So, wait a minute. I just got a theory. I bet this is in the Wolverine one. And if this one has a picture of Black Panther on it, I bet this is in the Black Panther one. Uh, again, we have Groot hanging the house. Uh, so just nature's lore, though. Green in one. Search the library for a forest card. Put it in the battlefield to shuffle. Um, not... I, I don't want to say it's not as good as the other one, but definitely more playable, not as expensive. But still cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so with this going on, we'll have to keep watch and see if that, uh, let's say, theory is true that every set gets their own. So we've seen Wolverine. We've now seen Black Panther. Let's see what the next one has in store for us. All right. So this must be the one for Iron Man. We have Sculpting Steel. Again, not one of the best cards. Three Cuddleless. You may play this artifact, or you may have this artifact enter as a copy of any artifact on the battlefield. But it is cool to see a little Groot in an Iron Man costume. <laughs> I am Groot, Groot stated. Yes, Tony replied. But have you considered being Iron Man? Funny, funny. Uh, love the art on this. Very cool. Sculpting Steel is actually a more playable card than what we've seen so far. Uh, yes, you do have to have an artifact deck. Uh, to really take advantage of this. But to be fair, um, it does say any artifact on the battlefield, so that includes your opponents. So you don't necessarily have to run as an artifact deck because, I mean, I mean, you should run artifacts and then maybe include this if you've got some bombs. But like to be fair, um, if your opponent plays a very powerful artifact, this could just be that good. Um, and that includes lands. Lands can be artifacts, artifact creatures, regular artifacts. Like, there are lots of options. Especially in Commander. And at three cuddleless, it will definitely be putting in some work. So, 
Moving on. Next, we have Regrowth. That's right. Green and one. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, this is uh, apparently probably the one that goes in the Storm deck, <coughs> I would guess, as uh, we have Storm in the background watering Groot. <laughs> kind of funny, you know. Storm, Thunder, rain. Anyway. Drink up, little one. It's rare I find someone who enjoys the rain as much as I do. Kind of cool. So, this is a highly playable card. Um, I'm surprised they went so far back to get a card this cool uh, from the revised original Four Horsemen era and made a reprint of it. Honestly, a little shocking. I hate to say that. Um, but this is really cool as a bonus card. Uh, and if it was in the Storm deck, I thought the Storm deck myself, or the Storm Secret Layer, excuse me, was probably one of the better valued ones and nicer looking ones, in my opinion, out of all the secret layers. I was really hoping to get a storm one. Um, so if this is also in that storm secret layer, holy cow, is that cool? Um, yeah. Really don't know what to say about it. Uh, out of all of them so far, and we've seen this is number four, so we've got probably one more left, I think, if I've counted right. This takes the cake for bonus cards. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth any money, but I think it should be. Because I mean, yeah, it's a green card, but return target card from your graveyard to your hand. It's got Storm on it, like drawn well. It's got Groot on it too. Um, <laughs> this seems like a powerhouse bonus card in my opinion. So, yeah. All right, moving on to the next one. And finally, we have Masterwork of Ingenuity. All right, so... Uh, the shield is a symbol. Uh, find what you believe in, what you stand for, and you'll have it. Have your shield too. Steve Rogers, Captain America. So this is clearly the Captain America bonus card. Uh, Masterwork of Ingenuity, one colorless artifact equipment. You may have this equipment enter as a copy of any equipment on the battlefield. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember when this card was printed or the last time I've even seen it. I almost think this is a new card because that's how... Long has been since I've seen this thing in a set or even played. So, sadly, the Captain America secret layer has this as a bonus card, I believe. And that makes me sad, because Captain America is probably one of my favorite Marvel characters. I mean, I mean, besides like Spider-Man and stuff, like, it's all about the gimmick, right? Almost like wrestling. Anyhow, um... It's sad to see that out of all these bonus cards, Regrow is really the only one um, that has a lot of pull to it and is like really cool and special to play. The rest of these are probably just going to be random cheap cards to be collected and never used. Um, and because of that, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of value. Now, I'm not trying to knock the Marvel Secret Lair. As we all know, people who got it are already trying to flip them online for twice the price. And people are upset about it. And like I mentioned in the previous video, if you're really that upset about it, nobody buy them. That way, they have to sell them for what they paid for and not make any money. Therefore, wasting their time and effort. Um, and if we can do that as a collective community, maybe it will stop all the people buying up stuff just to resell them. You know, they only do that because you guys will pay the extra money for it. People realize that, right? Right? Maybe not. And people still buy Xboxes when Xboxes and Playstations when they first come out for three times the money because they can't get one from Walmart instead of just waiting. Sad world we live in. Oh my god. So, don't complain about scalpers if you're going to pay their price. Just putting it out there. And if somebody else wants to pay their price... That's fine. Let them. They clearly have more money they know what to do with. Because at some point, if people just pay the price for it back and forth, somebody's going to eventually not want it and want to cash in their money. And if no one wants to pay full price for it and they get stuck with it, they'll quit doing it. I know it's a long, hard, tough decision to make to not blow your money on this stuff. But trust me, much as I would like to have this and I would have paid for it, I'm at the point in my life where I'm not paying extra. And I just don't care. Because guess what? I don't need them to play Magic, so... 
I can go have somebody make me a proxy for pennies on the dollar. So there's always that. So until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you cross from the game table.